Hello and welcome to Mickey Art and yes today I am doing another mug. Now this is the same as the last mug. It's grey right to the top. So as you can see I have lined with masking tape all the way around the inside. This time I've actually put one of my um, tuna tin lids inside there to create a block so I don't end up with a splotch in the bottom like I did last time and I've also attached this little plastic container um, upside down with a roll over of tape I, I'm hoping you guys know how to do this because this is like super easy and you just roll your tape over like that to make like a tube but and you stick it onto itself on the inside right but you've then got sticky all the way around. So it's a great way to attach something. And that's actually how I attach my records to my um, pottery wheel. Anyway, so I've used the roll of tape to stick this to the bottom. And then I've gone around and taped all the way around the bottom where the grey isn't. Hopefully to get... The paint to run down there um, and not underneath but I've left this little flap here so that I can grab it and rip it off leaving the pot stuck on there once most of the paint has dried off so that I can just peel that off and just let it do that last little run down without it creating big giant beads that's the one thing that i've found has been a proverbial pain so uh what colors are we going to do today we've done green um and as much as raccoon sister insists that it's my favorite color it is not <laughs> so we don't have a lot of white left. It's There's some in there, but not a lot. We've got quite a bit of black. Probably half a pot of black left. We've got mm, probably only about a quarter of a pot of yellow. About half a pot of green just under maybe a third and quite a bit of blue yay now <clears throat> blue and red are my favorite colors if you go through my wardrobe you will find blue and red and black um <clears throat> and they make one of my other favorite colors which is purple yay <laughs> so I'm going back to what I started with, with my original tester um, ones, but I'm going to do a whole mug this time, and um, I will put the green and the black away, I will put some yellow in, ah, no, I'm going to leave the yellow over there. No, I'm going to put some yellow. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. For which colours should I go? Now, the yellow actually kind of disappears quite massively. It's very translucent and um, it's really just a filler as far as I'm concerned. But I get that it will actually give an interesting little colour thing. Or should I put green? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? <sighs> green is the most... Okay, so I have my little shot glass. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. There's that little bit more. Uh, put that there. 
move that out of the way make sure you are zoomed in yay now uh i do like having some silicon because i love the cells so i'm going to do what i've done in the past and just put a little bit of silicon on the end of my stick and then i'm going to pour my colors in over that so that they gather a little bit of silicon on the way in I just realized I haven't got my lids open A little bit of white not much just enough blubble of green and then I'm gonna go back round as I'm pouring it over the stick it's actually helping it to meld with the other colors um, a blob of white a bit more red a bit more blue And I'm going to leave it at that. So now that we've got a very fugly looking colour on the top, let's pour it out. Now in the past I've mixed those, but I'm actually going to leave it unmixed this time. Put all my lids back on. Those of you that have been following my channel will know that I've actually got quite a bit of um, creation out of this little taster set. Um, this taster set I got off Amazon and it came with the six colours. And there'll be a link in the description if you want to go check it out. Um, I have found though that if you are going to be... Um, buying the individual ones and you're based in new zealand i don't know what the cut the prices are at shops elsewhere in the world but if you're buying it in you go and buy the um if you're gonna buy it buy it from spotlight because compared to amazon for the whole bottles it's cheaper <laughs> if you're from new zealand that is so what do we do we just pour all the way sorry my hand is in the way all the way around the cup just like that trying to keep it on the outside of the cup and well, trying to get it going <laughs> okay so now now that I've got a good quantity on here, I'm just going to, on this side at least, grab the stuff that's falling off and just make a snail trail. 
for it to run down because as with any paint it runs a lot better if it's running over wet compared to running over a dry surface Okay, just smearing that around a bit. On my last cup, I actually did a pre covering prior to starting to pour. You can do it either way, whichever is fun for you. I'm going to pick some of this up and stick it back in the pot before I do my next. Four. All right. Just want to try and give you a view of what's going on on this cup and it's looking sensational um, I've got a couple of patches here that are still just the smeared paint so just gonna pour a bit more down the sides Trying to do videos of 3D pouring, it's just not easy, so I apologise so much for all my hand in the way. But there we go, it's really starting to cover. All those splotchy parts. Check it out. This is funky colors. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. Yum, yum. Right. So what's the next step? You guessed it. Yay! It's torch time. So let's see what I can... So this is just a little creme brulee torch. Woohoo! Watch the finger. Ah, oh, wow. That's looking cool. Not so sure about this bit here. Just hoping that pours off a bit more. But all that silicon was in that bottom part where I first poured it into the cup. So that was the last bit that went on. <gasps> Those are some cool cells. So I'm going to put that aside. And let it dry and um, yeah I will be back to you once it's dry and show you how it's come out but I am excited about this one I will be cleaning up this hand a little bit and I've noticed there's been a bit fall in on the inside but I'll give it a little bit to dry out just to set a little bit and then I will 
come in with a cloth and clean that up before it goes hard completely. But wowza, that is cool. I am loving that. Now, one thing that I just want to point out to you guys. Um, in the instructions it says, do not put where food is going to be. And I had an, a few people complain about me recommending using it so close to the lip um, in my last video. So I went and did some research as to what that was all about and it turns out that this stuff is food safe as a paint it is completely food safe it is not fda approved and the reason for that is that it costs fifty thousand dollars per color to um to get it approved and they don't recommend where you that you put it where the food is going to go because it can be damaged by utensils so a knife and fork and stuff when you if you used it on a dinner plate it can get scratched and then foodstuffs and things can get underneath the paint and grow bacteria which can make people sick so they don't recommend putting it where your utensils are going to go ah just noticed Glad I noticed now, I still have a line of grey just there. Just gonna. Um, got a little bit left in the pot. Let's see if I can do. Um, It's not that it's not, like, it is non-toxic. It is food safe, according to Duke University study. But they wouldn't recommend putting it on the inside of the, the cup because you're, look at that, it's going around the grey. Come on. Um, because your teaspoons might scratch it and cause a problem then if you're not a fastidious hygienist then it might cause a problem and they don't want to be sued just like the rest of us <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna let it sit let it dry and we'll see if my tape does what I want it to do and how beautiful it comes out once it's dry. I'll see you real soon. Okay, so this is set up and when I went to pick it up off the base, um, there was a little piece that tore off. So just full disclosure, I'm just dabbing my finger into the runoff and um, just touching that up before it sets. Just checking all the way around. I want the purple. That is just looking amazing. I am so loving that. Loving it, loving it, loving it indeed. I'm really glad I added the green. Um, let's just brighten that up a bit for you. See the green just adds a little something to it. Um, all right, I'm gonna put that back down again and leave it to dry. And I will be back 
once it's completely dry. Isn't it pretty? Well, here it is in all its glory. I love this. This is stunning. Uh, this is where I lose control of it. I have to change hand positions. Look at that. Stunning. Oh, it just reminds me of water flowing over a waterfall but in just some weird country because <laughs> a weird planet. It's got blue and purple stones. But, oh, it's so stunning. So stunning, I've signed it. Yes, yes I have. And that's the date. If you can get it to focus. 18, 2018. It's officially a Mickey art piece. And now, what I want to show you here, and this is the same on that green one I did. Um, you can see the lines that were in the grey paint. Um that were white so this is going to go into my collection because it's not a perfect painting because it's got that in there but I love it so I'm very happy to have it as my collection and I'm really pleased I added that green really pleased it's not a major part but it's just added these little touches of difference to it um, it's more yellow green which is good, but I do like it. Did I add yellow or did I add green? I have to go back and look. But look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. wonder how well these will sell. Christmas presents and the like. What magic can be seen? I also just smeared some paint over the Pam's thing on the bottom. <laughs> Pam's is a, a home brand of one of our supermarket chains. So, yeah, not overly fussed having that blazoned over it. So, I painted it out. Look at that. Come on, focus. All right, guys. I think you'll be seeing more mugs being painted by me. I do love them. They are fruitcakingly beautiful. So, somebody asked on the other one for turquoise and blue and white. Sort of like a um, water... So I might try mixing a bit of the blue and the green to make turquoise. I haven't tried mixing the colours, but it does say in the information that you can. So, who knows what we're going to see coming soon out of the ceramic pouring beauty. Just hiding it in there. Oh, come on. There it is. One more cell. How does it get any better? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to take this inside, bake it, and start using it. So thank you all for joining me. Come and join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Um, share your successes and your what you consider failures. One of the things I love about the group is there, I think there's over 7,000 people in the group now. And um, there's always somebody that loves the weird one that you hate. So <laughs> it's really good for the ego. I adore you all. And I will see you, if you subscribe, obviously, in another video. I'd love to have you subscribe and come play more often. And um, if you like this video, thumbs it up. And uh, the more thumbs up I get on these, the more of them I'll do. So I adore you, have fun, and what magical possibilities could you allow into your world today that you've been refusing till now? Bye-bye.